guys, what's up? So today's video is going to be my monthly favorites video. I haven't done one of these in a hot minute, which means I have a ton of crap, a ton of shit to share with you guys today. So I'm gonna try to move things, move through things super quickly so that this video isn't 30 minutes long, but I bet you it is. No, it's not going to be, it's not going to be. But this past month I have completely fallen in love with so much and like real love, like real true love. I have discovered some amazing makeup and there's only like a couple of products that are not brand new, but a lot of this is new and great and you guys need it and let's just, let's dive in. Okay, so I know all of us are watching beauty content on TikTok and we all love Michaela. We all, we all love Michaela. And I swear I buy everything she recommends and that's where my first favorite comes in. I've always liked and appreciated the Estee Lauder double wear especially for what it is you know that's like that's the OG foundation guys that's like YouTube's Michael Jordan when it comes to foundations right like what is more iconic -y Michael Jordan -y than double wear there isn't but I never really kept it in my collection because I have very very dry skin and it's very full coverage it's like a glamorous foundation but Estee Lauder has the double wear sheer long wear makeup and I don't know why I, I didn't realize that they had this. It's like a foggy memory to me for some reason. I feel like I knew about it but I never really saw people talking about it so I never checked it out I don't think. And then when I saw Michaela raving about it I was like oh my gosh I need it and she was right. This foundation is amazing for those of us with very dry skin that want a very sheer long wearing simple foundation. This is so lightweight on the skin you barely feel it like you barely feel like you're wearing any foundation at all it's crazy and yet the coverage is still really nice it's not full coverage it's not medium coverage I would say it's like sheer light because it definitely has more coverage than a tinted moisturizer you know it evens out your skin tone it covers up redness and the best part is is that it lasts all freaking day and stays looking fresh and nice throughout the entire day it's the foundation I'm wearing on my skin right now I've been wearing it for hours and it's just absolutely beautiful I have two shades because at first I bought bone and I was like oh no, that's way too light for me. And then I bought wheat and I was like, oh, no, that's way too deep for me. So I mix them. Definitely match yourself in person so you don't waste money on two foundations. I'm usually so good at guessing my shade online, but I missed the mark with that one. Oh, by the way, that foundation does have SPF 19, but a bitch puts on SPF no matter what. No matter how much SPF my foundation has, I put on SPF first and I'm currently using the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Neocytamide, I can never say that word, sunscreen, SPF 50, love it so much, so good, and a go-to. Okay, so the Il Maquillage Fuck on Flawless Concealer is like my favorite concealer, so good, I, mean, I wear it like every day. Definitely my most used concealer of like 2021 and 2022 but recently very recently I have been loving these concealers so much for different reasons so this is the milk makeup sunshine under eye tint and brightener and I love wearing this on days where I'm not wearing any makeup at all I just throw on my SPF I put a little bit of this underneath my eyes I got to do a little bit to the brows because I cannot look like an alien poodle and then I am good to go this looks so beautiful underneath the eyes because it gives you like just the right amount of coverage. It's not too much, not too light, but then it looks so youthful under your eyes. Like your under eyes just glow. It's so beautiful. And yes, it creases just a little bit under the eyes, but honestly, for how glowy and beautiful it looks, you would think that it would crease more. So I really, really like that it doesn't crease that much. I'll usually just add like a little bit of powder, like right here where there's a little crease right there. And then I'll leave the rest like how it is. And it's so beautiful. I'm telling you, it just brightens up your under eye. You look dewy and young and fresh and it's awesome. And I love that it has this little roller ball. Just throw it on, rub it in with my fingers and I'm good to go. It's excellent. And then I've also been really, really, really loving the Wide Awake Concealer from Dominique Cosmetics. This is another one of those products that I saw on TikTok and I just had to have it because I've never seen a concealer that comes with a little metal applicator. Like that's a little hair. Definitely my hair. I've never seen one that comes with a little metal applicator like this. I've seen a few like under eye correctors that come with like a little metal, metal applicator and it feels really cooling on the under eye, but never a concealer. And this is just like the coolest concealer ever. Not only does it have that little metal applicator so it feels really cooling on the eyes, but it's infused with caffeine. So it's supposed to kind of help your eyes if they like look tired or if they're a bit puffy, which I really, really love. And this formula is super creamy and kind of has like a flawless finish. It dries a little bit more on like the 
satin side. I wouldn't call it fully matte, but it's a bit more satin, but it looks really beautiful, almost like blurred on the skin. I love using it in my T-zone area as well. It's honestly like a really, really great concealer. Shout out to Chris and Dominique because she killed it with this. This is so good. I have mine in the shade Almond Milk and I freaking love it. It's also full coverage if you're wondering. I don't know if I mentioned that. Okay, we're gonna take it on school. We're gonna take it back. We're gonna take it back. How many of you guys remember the RCMA no color powder that I used to rave about so, so, so much. I've gotten back into the habit of using powder. I don't know what it is about Miami. It is hot. I feel like it's the hottest summer I've ever had. I say that every, I say that every summer, I know. But holy shit, it's hot out there. And even me, that I have very, very, very dry skin, a bitch gets sweaty if I'm out in the sun too long. And since my skin, honestly, can't handle all that powder, I just need a little bit and something that's very light and beautiful. And this has been my go-to. I had to pull it out again. Seriously, the RCMA No Color Powder, best powder ever. No need to spend all your money on the Makeup Forever powder, on the Laura Mercier powder, on all of those really expensive powders because this is affordable and it does the same thing. This leaves your skin super flawless. I have it underneath my eyes. There's no white cast, no flashback. It honestly just sets whatever you want it to set and, and it looks like skin. It's so amazing. You get there's three ounces in this shit. You will never run out of this. There's no way. You know how you hit pan on some of your powders? You're not gonna hit pan on this one. It honestly blows me away every time. Every time I use it, I'm like, why do I have $50 powders? Amazing. So this stuff is so amazing. I've only used it three times, but I have been loving this. So this is the Ula Henriksen Banana Bright Sun Kissed Face Primer. And this is a self tanner in a face primer. It has vitamin C and banana powder inspired pigments. I don't know what that means, but this stuff is really, really good. And at first, like when I first purchased this and I went to use it for the first time, I'm like, this is probably not gonna tan my face all that much. And I applied it to my whole face. I did my makeup. When I went to go look at my hands at the end of the night, like when I went to go take a shower and wash my face, whatever, I'm like, eh. The palms of my hand or like the bottoms of my fingers, like they were tan. They had like self tanner on them. And I was like, eh, hey, that had to have been my face primer because I did not wash my hands after I applied my face primer because I didn't think it was actually going to work. So the next two times I used this, I washed my hands immediately after applying the face primer and then you're good. You don't, you don't get any self tanner on your hands, but oh my gosh, this works. I personally have only been using this once a week because if you use this every day, you're definitely going to overdo it. You are going to over tan. The back of the tube says apply once daily to face and blend down the neck for a natural looking glow. But if you do this every day, I don't know, your face is gonna get very tan. And it says that the color will gradually begin to develop and deepen over the next like few days. I noticed like over the next few hours. And when I washed my face that night, when I woke up the next morning, I was like, oh my gosh, I have a little tan going on in my face, which I love because I never put self tanner on my face, even if I am like self like tanning my body. I used to use like little Clarins drops. I love this. I love this. If you tan your body, like if you are a self tan gal, definitely check this out because it gives you a really nice even tan on your entire face. I didn't have like splotches anywhere. It was so even and it wasn't too deep. It was like uh, did you get a little sun girl because uh there's like a little, little bronziness on your skin but i don't know i can't tell you know what i mean it's like one of those i freaking love this this is amazing i cannot wait to use this all summer definitely apply your spf whenever you're using this like spf spf spf, SPF, SPF okay apply your spf every day even if you are staying home the sun comes through the windows. Okay, so this next product might feel a little random, but I'm obsessed. I am obsessed in love with this. I mean, I know this was limited edition, but I hope you can still get it. This is the collab. Well, Elf and Dunkin' Donuts did a whole full-on collab, like a makeup, makeup, obviously. Brain words. And it was a full collection. It was so freaking cute. Fun, fun fact, I still have like the packaging of it where everything came in, like when they sent me PR. And it's been sitting on my vanity for weeks and weeks and weeks. And the other day, Danny came into my beauty room and he was like, listen, you've had that Dunkin' Donuts bag sitting on your desk for a long time. You should, you should probably throw it away. And I was like, this is makeup, bro. You think that I would have like crusty old donuts on my vanity for a month? Come on, jeez. Have a little more faith in me, but they nailed the packaging. I mean that shows you they really freaking nailed that packaging Anyway, it came with a bunch of stuff eyeshadows brushes you name it It was great. The whole collection was super super cute I fell in love with the lip scrub this lip scrub is so 
good um, because it is coffee scented and it has like little coffee crystals in this little lip scrub and the reason why it's so amazing is because it's really rough. Some of these lip scrubs that come in like this little type of packaging, when you start to like rub it on your lips you're like there's like four little rocks in here. Like this is not scrubbing my lips. This is not getting any of the dead skin. This is just like massaging my lips. No. It's like mashed coffee in here and it really, really exfoliates the lips so, so well. It gets right up in there. And the best part is, it smells like freaking coffee. So it's delightful. It's such a pleasant experience. I love it. I love it so much. Elf, Duncan, let's make it permanent. Okay. I'm gonna give a shout out to two bronzers I've really been loving. One of them I was pleasantly surprised by because it is a powder bronzer and honestly I have been using cream bronzers like crazy and whenever I do use a powder bronzer, you know, I use my Ilia bronzer, it's my favorite. But oh my gosh, I love this so much. So House Laboratories or House Labs recently got like a whole revamp. They did like a whole rebrand and now they are sold at Sephora, which is amazing because I always thought it was weird that they were just like an Amazon brand. No shade to Amazon. But now they're available at Sephora and they have a ton of new products and I really, really, really love this bronzer. These are the Power Sculpt Velvet Bronzers and dude, they, they feel like velvet. They almost feel like cream when you touch them. They are so velvety, so creamy when you're applying them. You need to test these out for yourself. They're so, so beautiful. Because of that velvety formula, when you start to blend it out, it, it has a little bit of a sheen to it. There's no shimmer in this whatsoever, no glitter, none of that, none of that at all. But because of that velvety formula, it almost has a little bit of like a reflect to it. A little bit, like barely there. Don't think it's like a sunshine bronzer, like golden goddess. No, it's very much this color, but it has like, there's something to it that just makes it look juicy. I don't know. It's very, very beautiful. I feel like you look so tan. At least it makes me look and feel so, so tan, summery. I have mine in the shade light level four and it is so, so beautiful. It's the bronzer I have on my face today. I love it, love it, love it so much. I'm going to be using it all summer long. Good stuff and I love this packaging. Oh, and before I show you the other bronzer, I do wanna say that their highlights, the house highlights are very good too. They're the Bio Radiant Gel Powder Highlighters. This one in Fire Opal. This one is so cool. If you have a really, really deep, deep skin tone, this is gonna look so freaking beautiful on you. I'm jealous. I'm wearing it right now as like a blush topper. Like I literally threw it on on top of my blush because it is too deep for me as a highlight. Like you kind of see that pink undertone, but as a blush topper, it's so, so beautiful. What a great formula. What a beautiful color. I love their revamp. I'm, I'm loving their stuff. So Makeup by Mario makes their sculpting sticks that are like my favorite. I love contouring and bronzing with those. And he recently came out with these two things right here. So we have the Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer, which is the all over warming complexion tint. And then we have the Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Perfector. All right, this is the Skin Enhancer, this is the Skin Perfector, and this is their Radiant Skin Powder. I don't like this. And I've watched tutorial after tutorial. I've used it exactly how he wants you to use it. I've used all the steps, all the right ways. And I just personally, for me, don't love the Skin Perfector. Specifically for like this golden shade right here. I don't know if it's because I got light medium. Maybe I'd like another shade. I know this is a favorites video, but really quick, I'm gonna tell you a non-favorite. There was just something about the way that these colors just like blended together and I put it on my face and it was just like glittery and I honestly, I just, I, I, I truly, truly did not like this. Maybe it's the color but I don't even think it's worth me buying another one to test it because I don't like like the glitteriness in it. It's not my favorite. However, their skin enhancers. Oh my gosh, these are so, so good. This one is in the shade light medium and I also have the shade light, which this one is perfect for me when I'm not tan. I have a little bit of a tan going on. So um, I really, really enjoy light medium. This looks beautiful on the skin, like so, so beautiful. It almost has like a little bit of coverage too. So it just looks flawless. It looks so flawless. It never looks like patchy. And my favorite way to apply it is like with a dense brush, kind of like this random, <laughs> let's just pick this up, this random elf brush that I cannot find a name, but you know, like a, like a dense brush like this that you can just sculpt the face and just like warm up the complexion and kind of like put it everywhere. It's so soft and it blends like a dream. It's such a, such a pretty formula. I really, really, really have been loving that. I had been using the Charlotte Tilbury cream bronzer a lot recently as well, but I prefer this one more, like the formula. The Charlotte Tilbury one is nice, but I just, I like this one more. And then I have to, I have to talk about my blush. I have to talk about my blush. These Huda Beauty blushes are so, so good because they're very, very creamy and they have a little bit of a sheen 
sheen to them, but they're not overly dewy and glossy to where they slip on your face. I'm obsessed with these. These are their, their Cheeky Tint blush sticks. They're all really, really incredible. The formula is super nice. This color in Rebel Red, oh my gosh. I recently bought it. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give it a go. I'm gonna get that burnt red color because I have been looking for a blush that honestly just looks like you've been out in the sun too much but not in, in an orange way and like a red way if that makes sense because I have a lot of cream blushes that are orange and terracotta and, and colors like that but I wanted something to look like extra toasty and burnt like in the summer on my cheeks and so I decided to pick up Rebel Red and I freaking fell in love with this this looks so so beautiful looks pretty crazy like when you start to blend it on your hand but when you blend it out on the cheeks it just looks looks so yummy and delicious like if you're sitting on the beach with your crush and he's just telling you the nicest things and you're blushing but you're also getting like really really hot because the sun is like hot this is the color of your cheeks and it's so beautiful and it's like juicy you see how it's like glossy but it's not like slippery it incredible formula incredible color and I personally think it would look good on so many different skin tones so definitely check out Rebel Red. Okay, a little bit of a shameless plug here. Can I give a shout out to the Lights Lacquer and Care Bears 40th anniversary shade? This is the special shade we just recently launched on uh, lightslacquer.com. <laughs> and this is seriously the most insane, stunning, crazy glitter you will ever put on your freaking nails. Care Bears just recently launched their new Caralot Bear. She's like the cutest little rainbowy bear and she is so fun. And so we made a Caralot nail polish and we have these incredible stickers to go along with it so definitely go check out our website you will love these products i'm actually wearing them on my nails right now let me show you so i've had my nails like this for like a week now so they look a little bit crusty but i'm wearing the Caralot shade on the tips like that's the ombre i have going on right here and then i have these stickers like on the rest of my nails and i don't know if you can tell but the stickers are holographic and it just looks so so freaking cool. I'm obsessed with these stickers. Definitely go check it out if you are a glitter fanatic because this, ugh, so good. Really random, really random, but Item Beauty has their Boost Juice Dual Ended Lash Primer and Mascara. I love this. This is probably the best blue mascara I've ever, ever used. It's dual ended like I mentioned before, and on one side you have this really pretty lavender shade, and this is kind of like the primer. No, it's not kind of like, it is the primer. And I honestly feel like this makes a huge difference because when I apply the blue mascara without the primer, my lashes don't look as blue, but when you combine them, holy crap, it makes my lashes super long, super thick, and really really blue and I know it's like how often are you out there wearing blue mascara but blue mascara is so much fun especially when you don't want to do anything to your eyes you're like I don't want to put on eyeshadow but I want to make a statement throw on blue mascara you will have everybody asking you what's on your eyes I swear I never never get so many compliments or questions like when I'm wearing blue mascara and the item beauty one is the best so I had to give it a shout out okay before we get into lips I'm sorry this video is so freaking long before we get into lips I want to give another shout out I don't know if you guys are familiar with the essence lash princess mascara it's like one of their super popular mascaras but essence recently came out with their lash princess liners and they're really really good incredibly easy to use like so easy to use i'm actually wearing the my favorite is the brown one to be honest i don't really wear the black one all that much the brown one is technically just my favorite but this is such a good liner like i said so easy to use it comes with this really fat marker and i'm wearing it on my eyes today and it is like you make your wings in five seconds with this fat marker and i find that brown eyeliner is so much easier to apply than black obviously it's not as you know and so I've been using this one a lot like every day even if I just apply a little bit of mascara I'll take this and then I'll just do like a little light tea, a little tea, and it's like oh my eyes look a little bit longer and like I barely did anything and it was so easy I really really like this and it's like what two dollars three dollars really good okay I gotta talk about this I gotta talk about this huh I am so so impressed by the refi what are these called the refi lip sculpts these are so so good they're basically like extremely long wearing lip liners i have mine in the shade blush and rosewood i'm wearing rosewood right now actually and this stuff is so incredible so basically you get your I thought something flew out. Basically, you get your lip liner on one side. You apply it to your lips. You overdraw your lips. It's a very creamy consistency, very smooth. It doesn't like skip. I like the formula. And then on this side here, you get like the sealer. 
I would say like the topper. I don't know. I don't I'm sure this has a name, but it almost looks like a silicone lip gloss. So weird, but basically you line your your whole lips with the lip liner and then you take this sealer and put it all over your lips and then it slowly like starts to dry down and your lip liner will last 15 million hours, guys. This is the most long-wearing lip liner I have ever freaking used. And that's saying a lot because my Pat McGrath lip liners will last through a hurricane. These are giving it a run for its money. It's this little freaking top coat at the bottom that really, really makes a huge difference. And I like to use this like on its own, completely on its own. I will fill my entire lips with this, put the top coat, and then I'm good to go and I will have that lip color on the entire day. And it fades really, really nicely as well. It doesn't come off in chunks. It doesn't peel weird. Super, super impressed with this. I noticed that it didn't have very good reviews on Sephora, which made me a little bit nervous, but you know what I think it is? Because I do have two of them and I've had the same issue with both of them. The freaking stick. Um, where the lip liner comes out, I've had to like take it out and put it in and take and take this part out like three times. Like the little mechanism, it's, it's, it's flawed. It's flawed on both of them and I've had to, um, you know, like do surgery on both of them a couple times. So don't love that, but formula wise, it's really, really great, especially when I'm just using it on its own. Today, however, I'm not using it on its own. On top of that, I am wearing the Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump from Tarte in the shade Cherry Blossom. I know you guys have heard about these a million times already, especially if you be watching TikTok, but oh my God, the Tarte Juicy Lip Plumps are so, so, so good. These are definitely my three favorites. White Peach, Cherry Blossom, and Peachy Beige. Peachy Beige is super, super, super underrated. The one that went very viral on TikTok was White Peach. This one is so nude, really, really nice, but might be too nude for some of you. Check out Peachy Beige. It's a little bit more wearable. It's a little warmer. So stunning on the lips. Oh my God. This product is incredibly shiny, very, very pigmented. It's like a lipstick and an ultra glossy, ultra, ultra, ultra glossy gloss. Had a baby and created this. It's insane. And the fact that it like plumps your lips is a bonus. And it doesn't plump your lips like in the ways that I like my lips to be plumped, like really intensely. It just gives you a very slight tingle. So if you don't like painful lip plumpers like I do, I love the painful ones, you will love this. This just gives you like a little tingle, like a little kiss of plump, like no pain whatsoever. And they're just so good. This cherry blossom one is a, a mini I bought off of their website. I personally would recommend tapping on that product versus like, because it's intense, it's intense. Yes, children? <laughs> Okay, and then last but not least, I wanted to mention the Revlon lipstick in the shade Untold Stories because it is delicious and I have been wearing it so much underneath all of these, underneath peachy beige, cherry blossom, white peach. This is such a beautiful everyday lipstick. It's pretty much like almost, well not almost, it's a little bit lighter than the Refai Rosewood lip liner. It's slightly lighter, that one's a bit deeper. This is such a beautiful everyday lipstick. The formula is really nice. It's matte but not drying. It's such a comfortable matte. And honestly, I have recently fallen back in love with Revlon lipsticks ever since I was like gathering information for my vintage makeup video that's coming up next. That's the next one I'm filming. We're gonna do a whole deep dive into vintage old school makeup. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So stay tuned for that. But I have just like fallen in love with Revlon lipsticks again. And this shade, Untold Stories, guys, you will love this color. You will love this formula. It's so good, affordable, and you need it. I had to give it a mention. I've only worn it a couple times this month, but still, I had to, I had to give it a shout out because I love her. Okay guys, I'm sorry that this video was 10,000 years long. That was a lot of stuff, but I have just been loving a lot of stuff recently. I've kind of been using makeup as like a getaway. I've been struggling recently um, with my mental health. As you guys know, I've kind of spoken about it recently, especially in my last video. Um, it's It's been really, 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 really hard for me, especially recently. And I do want to make a whole video of what I've been through recently um, when I feel like I'm mentally okay to when I feel like the video will benefit at people you know I don't want it to be a sad video I want it to be a video that has a good outcome if that makes sense so when the time is right I will get I will talk about that more but yeah makeup kind of helps me just like get in the zone uh, focus on the present like the things in front of me and not my brain and my thoughts in the past and the, my problems and all that so I, I've been enjoying just like sitting and not really making content just like playing with makeup and you know, I have been falling in love with a lot of stuff. So I hope you guys check out some of these products. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you've been loving.
recently. But yeah, that completes this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so, 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 so much. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.